good Saturday morning. And it is a good Saturday morning. Do you know why it is a good Saturday morning? This is half the reason that it's a good Saturday morning. Yes, my boys are home for just a little bit. Just until tomorrow, but that's okay. They came home late last night. Um, and they'll be home till tomorrow afternoon. So I am beyond excited. Adam and I are the only ones up at this ungodly hour on a Saturday because Adam is going for a run and I am going to start cooking because I think they want homemade English muffins for breakfast That'd be nice. with eggs and bacon and stuff. Yes. I can't think about food right now. <laughs> he just woke up and it's very early, um, but he's getting his run in early. So what a good little track boy. Um, I'm still having foot issues, so I am not running today. I'm hoping to get a little bit of some kind of workout in, just something that's not high impact. So I was back at the foot doctor yesterday for them to check it, and they were messing with it and really, really made it hurt bad. Um, so yeah, right on the ball of my foot, right where you walk, right where you run, right where, ooh, it's a little bright Holy mackerel. It's a little bright out today in New Jersey, isn't it? Um, so I'm going to get coffee and tea made. And I am going to get start on the English muffins and start on the sandwich buns for dinner tonight. I have a craft-ish project I want to work on today. Um, talk more about that in a little bit and bring you along for that, of course. And that's about it, so I'm gonna get started. <laughs> sitting down for breakfast after a morning of mixing and cooking. I have a homemade English muffin, three points, two eggs, zero points on blue and purple, and four points on green. I have about two thirds of a cup of hash browns, zero on purple, two points on green, and two points on blue. I think it's two points for two thirds of a cup. And I have three points worth of bacon. So nice, big, hearty breakfast, because I have a lot to do today. Okay, breakfast is all cleaned up. Buns are resting. Well, the first step of the buns are resting, and now it's time to do some sewing. I have, Andrew asked me to make masks for his throwing squad. So I am making 12 navy blue masks that I'm also gonna need to Cricut on. Um, I got this awesome, awesome fabric to make myself a half apron. So that is all cut. It is all ironed. I just have to sew it together. I wanted to do a sew with me on the half apron because several of you have had it asked. But it was a little too crazy this morning to do it. But I do have more fabric to make another one. So I will definitely be doing that in the next few days. And it will hopefully go up next Saturday for a sew with me Saturday. Um, and then I have this material because this is going to be my little craft project, but I am waiting for a delivery from Amazon before I can finish this. Um, I'm excited about it. You know how I'm trying to 
be a little bit more environmentally friendly and use um, zero waste products. So this is going to be one of those zero waste products. So stay tuned for something fun with that. And now I need to set up the sewing machine and get sewing. It is a family affair making the masks. Not only did Doug cut them out for me, but he is weeding the decal that I need to press onto them. We're both actually doing that. So they are almost done, sort of, kind of, soon. And these two geniuses, let me come around this way, are trying to solve nine square puzzles. I can't do them. They are so hard. You basically have nine squares. This is dumb. And you have to figure out how they go together. Every side has to match. Grace is I can't do this. Not one. right, right there. That doesn't match. I don't think. So yeah, they're really hard. I think Andrew is the only one that actually ever figured one out in our house, but we'll see. So Adam and Grace are happy to see each other. I knew Adam wasn't coming home to see me. Yes, I, half the reason why. Okay, yes, third it, of the reason why. One, two, and the dog. The dog is somewhere. It's not small. I'm small. glad I ranked. Small. Um, <laughs> you know what I, the parents count At least two. I rank. Doug, we're not so sure parents about. Parents count as two. And Adam wanted us to make ice with the new ice maker. So we've got that going too. Because you know, when my boys are home, whatever my boys want, my boys get. I am still sewing. Oh my gosh, these masks are taking forever. Because it's just, you know, because I'm also doing the Cricut thing on them. And I actually bought, when I'm making masks for people I don't know, I never know, especially these kids, because some of them are huge because they're athletes. I never know how big to make the elastic. So I bought these little, can you see that? adjuster things so they can push them up to make them bigger or down to make them smaller so they're the there we go i have two more that i just have to sew the elastic on and then i have to i we had to run out and get more fabric so i have to cut four more and make four more from scratch so the craft project with the b fabric probably isn't happening this weekend and Adam and Grace just informed me that they're going out to get some shirts because they want to cricket some shirts. They want to do it. Yeah, I'm sure I will end up helping. So I have a feeling it's going to be a very late night for me sewing and stuff. Um, but it is what it is. It's okay. You know, they're only home for the weekend. Andrew hasn't been here all day. He's been with his girlfriend. Um, so I don't know what time he's coming home. What else? The buns just came out of the oven for the sandwiches tonight. I probably should have made them a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Doug just said, I'll eat too. Um, and now I'm just gonna get ready to cut up some carrots to roast them. And Adam asked for, Andrew's probably not gonna be home for dinner. Adam asked for his favorite spaghetti salad. I'm not a huge fan of it. So that's why I wanna make some roasted carrots or whatever to go with. Um, the sandwiches. Spaghetti salad is just cooked spaghetti. And then you use this McCormick salad supreme, it's called, and Italian salad dressing. And you can put in like chopped veggies. Adam doesn't like the chopped, Adam loves veggies. He doesn't like veggies in this spaghetti salad. So it's very plain. It was done in five minutes, not a big deal. So I made that for him. That's about it. I haven't moved pretty much from my sewing machine. <laughs> But that's okay. You can tell. I haven't done anything. Haven't showered. Haven't done anything. But it is what it is. So what are you going to do? They're your kids, right? It is finally dinner time. A little bit later than I wanted, of course. And for dinner tonight, we are having the chicken Italiano sandwiches. The sandwich itself is one point at, on green. No, on blue and purple. Because you just have to count the quarter ounce of provolone cheese. The homemade bun is four points. On green, you have to count for the chicken, but you know how I feel about that. You gotta just weigh out your chicken. 
I have roasted Brussels and roasted carrots for zero points on all plans. And I have Adam's request of spaghetti salad. I am giving this five points. It's made with the Ronzoni 150. So it's four points for two ounces dry, plus there's a little bit of Italian dressing and some seasoning on there. So I have a 10 point dinner tonight. My family is a bad influence. It is a small vanilla soft serve with some crunch coat. This is a small and it's huge. I will portion it out. I will eat a little bit of it and the rest will go down the drain or in Adam's stomach, one or the other. You will blow in the freezer. I will not put it in the freezer. Yes, you will. And then I'll throw it away three days later. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> it is 1020 and I just got done sewing all those masks. I ended up doing 18 altogether. I figure a couple extra just in case something happens. Um, but I, you know, I stopped to cook dinner. We stopped to eat dinner. I stopped to help Adam and Grace make their shirts. So yeah, it's been a long day. Still haven't showered, no hair, no makeup, nothing, but that's okay once in a while. And that's usually my Saturday. We felt weird not going to church today though, because we've been going Saturdays for so long. Um, but we're doing 930 tomorrow because the mass is for the intention of Doug's father. So we will do 930 mass. We will come home. Adam's going to go say goodbye to Grace. We're going to come home and have breakfast. Um, and then just get, you know, I, I hang out until it's time to leave. We're going to go around two o'clock. We're going to leave to take the boys back. So I'm just waiting now. Adam just took Grace home. I'm waiting for them to come home or Adam to come home. So I'm just going to clean up my mess and then hit the hay because we lose an hour sleep tonight. I love spring, but I hate springing ahead. Can we just get rid of this whole daylight savings thing, please? I will talk to you all in the morning. Good morning, friends. It is Sunday morning. We are home from church and changed already. I just realized I forgot to put my earrings in. Um, I was gonna vlog this morning, but we were busy filming a tag. And what else? Um, and then it was, I was gonna film in the car on the way to church and it was so bright and sunny, I could not get a good angle, good lighting. So here I am now, didn't miss anything. Um, we went to 9.30 mass. It was in the Catholic church. Um, you can have the intentions of the mass said for someone, either someone who has died or someone, it can be anything in honor of, in memory of, and mass today. and. Like, like we would, we would get the mass for, so like, let's say, well, okay, I'll just today as an example. You know, Doug's father passed away last year and a friend of ours contacted the parish and had this mass said for Doug's dad. So mass, what the mass intention was for Doug's dad requested by and the people that had the mass said, so. Um, so that's why we went to 9.30 this morning and the boys came home and all that. So that was very nice. And our favorite deacon was the homilist, which was very nice. Um, and then Adam went over Grace's. I mean, Andrew's been home and you still haven't seen him on camera. <laughs> He's upstairs just gathering a few things. I ended up getting all those masks done last night. I ended up making 17 of them. Um, I did get my apron done while I was waiting for Adam to come home. red of course and striped shocking right um so what else we're getting breakfast made making sourdough pancakes andrew wants chocolate chip doug and i are going to have blueberry adam is eating at grace's when he comes home around 1 30 or so we are going to head out and get them back to school it's about a two and a half hour ride two hours and 45 minutes each way so long time in the car for us today really long for Doug because he just did this on Friday so it's all good um I'll use the time wisely I have sorry I'm in the chef's way I have um 
a cookbook that I got from the library that I oh, can't even lift it that I'm reading. This one she's one of my favorite YouTubers, Jill Winger, and this is her cookbook. Um, so I'm reading that. Maybe I'll work on the April menu a little bit. Maybe try to get some editing done. We'll see. Just another normal weekend and back to the craziness tomorrow. I'm so not ready for that. Really not. Especially with the um, time change. I'm sure our schedules are going to be quite off. Um, hopefully not too bad though. But I'll be back and I'll show you my breakfast. Okay, breakfast is on the table. I have four sourdough pancakes for four points. I have two teaspoons of maple syrup for two points. And I have three ounces of apple sausage and I'm gonna give that five points. So it is a very high point breakfast of 11 points today. So Adam's girlfriend made him some chocolate chip cookies and I will say Grace makes the best chocolate chip cookies I have ever tasted. They are so good. Well, her and somebody else I know. Um, they are so good. And Andrew's a little jealous. So what am I doing but making some chocolate chip cookies for Andrew to take back to school. I'm going to try sourdough chocolate chip cookies and see how they turn out. Because I have a lot of sourdough starter right now. Yeah, <laughs> caught red-handed. I finally got him on film. He stayed still for two seconds. <laughs> so I didn't make sourdough chocolate chips. Oh my God, the phone has to be so far up here to get him in. <laughs> I didn't make sourdough chocolate chips because my starter was just fed. I kind of forgot I fed it this morning. So we just made regular. And I am the suckiest chocolate chip maker in the world. No, you're not. I am. I, I, I admit it. I can pretty much cook and bake anything. Chocolate chips are my nemesis. They always come out flat. And I don't know why. I have tried different, you know, somebody told me don't use butter, use shortening. Somebody told me use half and half. Um, somebody said no baking powder, only baking soda. Somebody said the opposite. Somebody said try different pans. I have tried everything. I must have tried over the last few years at least 20 different recipes and they all come out flat. Although Andrew did say something about them. What did you say? Oh, wait, at least I'm showing. It doesn't matter the type of cookie you make. All that matters is that it's homemade from my mother. That's all that really matters to me. It's still a good, good chocolate chip cookie. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I don't think Andrew's made a chocolate chip he didn't like. I was really anxious to try the sourdough ones, but like I said, since I had just fed my starter, that wasn't happening. Um, maybe sometime later in the week. I don't know. But I will tell you, I've been off the rails. I ate two of them. I, it's been, I, I don't even want to weigh in on Tuesday. Yeah, don't make any more because then I'll eat Doug's yelling at me not to make any more. I'll experiment. just take them all back with me. Yeah, but you're leaving now. I'm not making more now. Shh, it's okay. I could always mail them to him. But see, they're here. But yeah, it's been a rough weekend. I have been off the rails and that's really, really not like me. That um, ice cream that I said I was only eating half of last night, mm, ate the whole thing. And... I'm fr I think I'm frustrated because my foot hurts and I can't work out the way I like to work out. And that's frustrating me and I don't know. I'm in a mood. Excuses are the nails to build a house of failure. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear my son? Oh, wow. Excuses are the nails that build a house of failure. Let me tell you. If his foot was throbbing like this, he wouldn't be. I, I'm still working out. That's the thing. I'm still doing it. I'm just not doing it as high impact as I like to do it. So he's going to get his little butt smacked. So we are on the road to take the boys back. Um, I literally fell asleep 10 minutes into the trip, hon. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, we stopped in Delaware to get them lunch. The boys really wanted Chipotle. They've been itching for Chipotle. So we stopped, kind of took a little tour, detour off the highway, stopped in Delaware to stop at Chipotle. So um, Andrew, Adam, and their friend Polo, who is Adam's, one of his best friends from high school, they room together at the Mount. Um, he came home this weekend with the boys to his house. He lives just a couple towns over. We pick them up and we're taking them back so they're in chipotle getting chipotle um i am not hungry why am i not hungry 
because I can't shut the pie hole. That's why. Guys, I have not had a couple days like this in a long time. Like, really. And I'm concerned. The ice cream last night, the chocolate chips today. I didn't tell them to you because I don't want to trigger anybody because Lord knows I'm triggered. I, I just, I don't know what it is. Like, I just don't feel in control right now. Um, I know that'll change. I think. I hope. It has to. I mean... I'm a pretty tough bird. I can be tough with myself. So, and everybody's like walking by the car looking at me like, why is this woman talking to her phone? Um, I, I just, I know I can rein it in. I'm just so mad at myself for not reining it in. Am I making any sense? But I know we've all had these times. I know we have. And if you haven't, that's wonderful. And if you haven't, share with me why you haven't because I'm only human. Doesn't matter. I tell you all the time. It doesn't matter if you're lifetime. It doesn't matter if you're on your journey. It doesn't matter what. We all have these times. And I guess this weekend, the last couple of days, is just my time. And I don't like it. I don't like this feeling. Um, yeah. I'm not quite sure. But I'm addressing it. And that's half the battle. I'm, I'm owning up to it. You know, what, what do they say? What you eat in private, you wear in public. So I'm owning it, guys. I'm really struggling this weekend. Really struggling. Um, now, we are not hungry right now, Doug and I. So we will probably stop at <laughs> Chipotle on the way home. <laughs> the way home Cause Doug really wants Chipotle, but he said he's not hungry. Doug's always hungry. So I'm a little shocked. I, I could eat, but I won't. He could eat, but he won't. I think the, the boys really just want to get back, and he can't eat Chipotle wow. while he's driving. So I think we'll get them back, and then we'll grab Chipotle on the way back and just sit in the parking lot and eat it. Because, you know, for us, it really doesn't matter. I mean, I don't want to be home too late because I do have to work tomorrow. Um, we both have to work tomorrow. Actually, did I tell you Doug's had a rough week at work? On Monday, they did an update to his computer, and it wouldn't work. So, he basically spent Monday sitting at his desk, staring at his computer that was not working. So, they worked on it all day. Tuesday, kind of the same thing. They managed to fix, like, part. two part of it. So, he was able to do a little bit of work on Tuesday. He was able to work Wednesday and Thursday but not with the program that he likes to use, like other programs. So he was able to get some stuff done. Well, then Friday, they said, okay, bring your computer into the office. Now, by bringing the computer in means pull up to the building, somebody will come out and get it, don't come in, don't breathe on us, don't look at us. <laughs> so he drove down Friday morning, dropped his computer off. Now, without a computer, he can't work. So dropped his computer off, came home, helped me with the kids, putzed around a little bit. I went to the foot doctor while he was watching the kids. And they finally called him around lunchtime. And now he was already taking off at three o'clock to go pick up the boys. Called him at lunchtime, come down and get your computer, it's fixed. Luckily, he lives two minutes from his office. Went down, picked it up, came home, hooked it up. They put the wrong program on it. So he had to take his computer back down to the office. And then he was done at three so he could pick up the kids. So, wow, they're back already. I better wrap this up. So he got zero work done on Friday, zero. So now tomorrow morning, first thing, he has to go down. Now he usually starts work at 7.30. IT's not until like 8.30, so he's gonna lose an hour of work, but he's gonna go down tomorrow and pick it up and it's all fixed and ready to go. So hopefully he'll have a better week. So the boys are delivered safely back to school. I'll miss them. I didn't cry. <laughs> I will see them again in three weeks um, for Easter, so that's good. And then they'll be home actually in 53 days. The semester is over, so that's exciting. Um, and then they'll be home for the summer. And then back to school again in August. Actually, Andrew has to go back really early in August 
because now this semester he's teaching two days a week. Um, he's teaching middle school. Next semester is his full-time student teaching. So he will be starting student teaching like August 10th or 11th or something like that. He hasn't had his placement yet, so he's not sure where he's going to be. Um, this semester he's at a Catholic grade school, but he's teaching middle school. Um, next semester he'll probably be at a public high school. We're not sure yet. So time's flying. I cannot believe he's going to be a senior next year. Where did this four years go? Like, it's crazy. And Adam's almost done his first year of college. I just, I just can't. I really can't. So, they're back. Um, we got there a little bit late. The, the other night, I don't know if I mentioned this or not. The other night, the basketball is the big sport at the Mount. Um, they don't have a football team. Basketball is the big sport. And the other day, the boys basketball team won an upset over Bryant University to win the entire conference championship. Over Wagner? Over Wagner? Yeah. No, the girls were Wagner, the boys were Bryant. I'm pretty sure. Yes. I know I know that's right. Yes? The boys beat Bryant. The girls beat Wagner today. Anyway, the boys beat Bryant last weekend to earn a spot in the NCAA tournament. Um, they've been there before, so it's exciting, but they haven't been there since 2017. And it was a, a big upset. Like, Bryant was expected to really beat them, so that was really exciting. And then today, the women's team won the whole conference championship, championship beating Wagner, and they earned a spot in the women's NCAA championship. And we got back to the school just a little too late. They had like a big gathering for the girls who were coming home from Wagner. Um, we heard all the cheering and saw all the crowds, but we didn't have a chance to get over there because by the time we got there, they were pretty much wrapping it up. So exciting stuff on campus right now for the guys. Um, and like I said, they have a big track meet down in South Carolina this week. And then they get back and they have a week off and then they go down to Annapolis to Navy for a big track meet. And I was able to go to, they didn't have it last year, but two years ago, my sister and I were able to go um, and watch it, but not this year. As far as we know, no spectators. So we're hoping to be able to go. Um, the Mount is actually letting two guests per athlete for the home meets, so we're keeping our fingers crossed for the 18th of um, April that we'll be able to go. It, we should be able to. Um, I just need to arrange for time off. Doug will take the day off, and we just we're gonna need to arrange for a chicken sitter because we'll go down Friday and not come home till Saturday. So we'll have to just arrange for somebody to keep the chicks for us. So it shouldn't be hard. Anyway. So we are on our way home. I am getting hungry. We are going to stop at the Big DT here in um, uh, Westminster. And I'm actually a little bit more excited about the big Joann's that's next door because there's one little fabric print. I'm looking for some bacon fabric. I just have a little project I want to do. Um, I'm so disappointed I didn't get my other project done this weekend to show you guys, but I'll do it during the week um, with the bee fabric. So that'll be a fun one. Just, you know, something that I've been wanting to make just to add to our zero waste and our sustainability. We'll see. You'll see when I make it. Um, I'm excited. But we are now here at the DT, and jo this Joann's is huge compared to the little one at home. So I'm excited to go in. I'm sure Doug will sit in the car, although he might come because he needs to stretch, so we'll see. Okay, as promised, we stopped at Chipotle on the way home, and I have a burrito bowl. It is brown rice, chicken, veggies, uh, mild salsa, corn salsa, a little bit of sour cream, a little bit of cheese, and a whole lot of lettuce. So there is my Chipotle dinner. Okay, I am ending this here in the car. I'm hoping to get it edited and put together and all that so I can upload when I get home. 
get ready for tomorrow and put my butt to bed. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, I just, you know, I didn't, I wasn't sleeping well last week and I just think it's catching up to me. Um, I have slept really great the last two nights and I swear it's because all my ducks were in the pond. Maybe I'm wrong, but we'll see if I sleep tonight. Um, my foot's not throbbing anymore as long as I don't abuse it. So that's good because that's not keeping me up. So hopefully have another good night's sleep, be ready to tackle the week because it is going to be a very busy one baby wise. Um, trying to think what else. I don't think we have anything else going on this week. Oh yeah, I have, I think I have a meeting at church Tuesday night, um, St. Vincent de Paul Society meeting on Tuesday night. And that's probably it. And we definitely need to do a mid-month produce haul because we're down to oranges. That's it. Oranges. So, and I think we are out of broccoli. We are out of carrots. We are out of everything. So we definitely have to do a mid-month produce haul. So we'll probably do that uh, maybe Wednesday night. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. So I will show that to you on Friday for sure with my menu. And that's it. Thank you so much for spending some time with me this weekend. I cannot wait until life opens up just a little bit more and we can start having more fun on the weekends. Um, but we'll definitely take you along when we go down and see the boys on Easter and hopefully go to their track meet and all that great stuff. So this weekend we didn't get to play Pinochle with the boys home. So next weekend we're definitely looking forward to spending some time with my brother and sister-in-law and playing some Pinochle and having a meal together. So it's all good. So once again, I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Let me know in the comments below if you did anything fun. Let me know if you did anything crafty. And I cannot wait to get that other craft done. Yeah, I'm a little bummed. I'm hoping that maybe I can work on it this week while the babies are sleeping. That would be ideal. So we shall see. Have a great one. And thanks again for all of your support. And sorry I was a little bit Debbie Downer there with the out of control eating. But, you know, guys, it happens to all of us. And I'd be lying if I told you it didn't. So... But I know that come tomorrow, new mindset, clearing my mind, and doing it. I know I can. I have the tools to do it. I just need to refocus. So that is my plan. Refocus, regroup, and slay the week. Have a great one.